everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another 2-in-1 Elite Series review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 85 Aleister Black and Undertaker figures. Both of these I was very excited about. We get uh, more of a, I, I mean, it's pretty much an updated Aleister Black. They did upgrade some things from the Elite 83. We also have this Boneyard Match Undertaker, which as soon as we saw him in the Boneyard Match, man, I said, I hope they make that an Elite. I really like the way he looks here, and I think I could use these these guys in the Fed. I mean, the way things are brewing up on Vindication, man, this is a My Damn Nation matchup brewing in the making. So, Aleister Black and Undertaker look really damn good right here. Of course, not a first time in the line or anything, but I think Aleister Black is still a highly sought after character, and we've just got, like, tons of Undertaker figures, you know, late 2020 on into 2021. Beautiful pictures of the talent there. You got the bio reads on the back, guys. If you'd like to check it out, you can pause it now. More images of the talent, rest of the figures in the wave. Images of the talent, again, on the side and that pretty much does it for our packaging of these guys if you guys would like to grab these i think that alistair black is on back order i'm not entirely sure on undertaker but you want to put your pre-order in guys if you guys missed out on these go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code mdtoys to save yourselves 10 percent because the the faster you put your pre-order in the faster you can get them in hand you don't want to miss out on that and i feel like alistair black figures really rise in price so if you want to go ahead and grab this go ahead and do it but with that being said guys let's shut the hell up and crack black and undertaker out of their packaging. So here are both figures out of their packaging, guys. Undertaker and Aleister Black. You guys can kind of see pretty much the massive height difference between the two. It looks like Aleister Black is actually pretty damn tiny, which is annoying. I wish they would upgrade the height and the formula of the Aleister Black. I feel like if they used a Bo Dallas instead of this formula they used for him, he's supposed to be 5'11", but I feel like if they used like William Regal legs or thighs at least, it would give him a little bit higher height and it would just make it look a lot better. Also giving him ball joints would allow for us to get into that black mass pose a lot easier in my opinion but i still like the figure i like what we got going on we're gonna dive into the details guys so let's shut the hell up and dive into alistair black's accessories and alistair black and then we will run it back and take a closer look at taker's accessories and the undertaker so for alistair black's accessories guys you actually don't get a ton the main focus of this figure is this entrance coaster entrance vest or entrance jacket whatever you want to call it it is his like hooded vest horn thing that looks very badass. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a very badass accessory. Now, if this were cloth, it would be out of this world. It would be elite, but I don't think you can get all this texture. You wouldn't get all these great things going on with it, but you get some pretty nice texturing and sculpt going on with this thing. You get a little bit of details going on. The, the sculpt is very detailed, but the paint apps is just these like little yellow lines or like golden lines, but it has a great sculpt going on with it. It does have the horns on there, which looks terrific on the Aleister Black. Really fits the character well. We'll take a look at what this looks looks like on the figure later on in the video but I like the uh, sort of rags and like stuff it's got going on right there outside of this nice hood and like the horns and everything looks great you also get interchangeable hands you get the mic holding hands with his tattoos on there and you also get fisted hands out of the packaging now for Aleister Black that's all you get I feel like a lot of figures in the set are kind of lacking accessories but it's not the biggest deal I still think this set is great it just seems like we're not getting a ton of stuff going on with these accessories but that does it for Aleister Black's accessories so getting into Aleister Aleister Black, guys, starting out with the head sculpt. It looks to me to be pretty much a re-release of the Elite 73 and the NXT figure. I could be wrong about that, but that is what I'm getting right here. It does seem that they've, like, kind of added some darker tones to the beard and hair, but the true effects looks good. You got the lip ring in there. I think it looks just like Aleister Black. I don't have any problems with this. I think it looks just like him. It's all great and dandy. I wish this guy could be featured on weekly television, but the Aleister Black head sculpt looks good. All of his tattoos look really great right here on the torso and the arms. One thing that differentiates differentiates this one from the Elite 73 is that he actually has the black wrist tape, which I like a lot better than the plain, you know, no sleeves or no wrist tape, just because you know, he's, he he usually wears wrist tape of some fashion. I do like that they gave us an option to have the full tattoo sleeves. You know, Bill said that they gave us that so he could get all the tattoos in there, which I do appreciate, but I ended up putting a Rey Mysterio gauntlet on there anyway to give him the, you know, the wrist tape look. But all the tattoos look good. Same Daniel Bryan formula. You got the black trunks, all the tattoos going on right here. Now, one thing that's interesting is this A logo looks like a scythe, but it also stands for 
for Alistair, but on the back, you guys will notice it's like this Blair Witch Project font going on. Now, at first, we thought that this was going to be the Chase variant version, but they changed it to this is the regular version, and the Chase variant version is the one that has, like, the matte black with the, like, glossy black logo on the back. So, they did change that, which is very interesting, but there's a shot of his beautiful back tattoo, which looks really great and realistic. And then going down, guys, you do have your spike knee pad and your spike kick pad, which, again, I love Alistair Black, and I love his figures, but I wish that they would make him taller, because he does feel extremely short when compared to other figures, especially when you're fetting and stuff. And I always add, like, the little hack with the Seth Rollins lower legs and adding the kick pads, but that does not work with the spike kick pad, so I can't ever rock the spike kick pad while making him look taller. I haven't figured out that formula yet, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of bummerific, but, but that pretty much does it for your Alistair Black action figure from Elite Series 85. So for your Alistair Black Elite figure comparisons, guys, you have the NXT Elite on the left with a slight fix-up. You have the Elite 85 in the middle, and then we have the Elite 73 Basic on the right, like the Elite 73 right out of the packaging. No fix-ups or anything required. And you guys can see all three head sculpts are virtually the same, except the hair is a little bit darker here on the facial hair for this figure. And then you guys can see what I was talking about with the wrist tape and everything else going on with it. So when you fix it up, it does make it a little bit taller. I just like this height a lot better than this height. I just feel like he's a little bit too short in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. And then for your MDT pick fed comparison, here is the Wyatt Colt or some members of the Wyatt Colt up next to the Elite 85 Alistair Black. My Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt and my Elite Luke Harper slash Brody Lee. RIP to the legend. But you guys can see here, it just looks a little bit short compared to these. Now if you slide in my fix up one, look how much better this looks as far as heights are concerned. That just looks better. He looks like he fits in better. Then you plug this one in, he just looks a little short. But again, not the biggest deal. Just a little something that kind of irks me a little bit. Now for Undertaker's accessories, guys, again, doesn't come with a ton of stuff going on, but you do get a weapon, interchangeable hands, and a head accessory, if you even want to count the head accessory. But starting out first, guys, we do have this shovel right here, and it's pretty damn tiny. Like, when you see it compared to the Undertaker figure, like, it looks okay, but it's like, damn, this is a mini shovel. This is a very tiny shovel accessory. You guys can see it does have the green handle. It has the silver for the tip right here, or the part that actually digs the dirt up for the grave, or whatever you're trying to dig a hole. And then it does come apart right here, so you have a little peg hole right here. It's got a peg right there, and you would just insert this to complete it. And I guess you can, you know, you could snap that in half. I don't know what you could use this for, but you could use this for some accessory as well. And then you just plug that in right there. But yeah, the shovel is definitely small. Outside of that, you do get interchangeable hands. You get the choke slamming hands out of the packaging, which are very weird because they're the regular Undertaker sculpt, except so they're the, the fingerless gloves sculpt, but they're supposed to be full black gloves, which kind of is weird because you can see the like fingernails and stuff sculpted in here. And then the same thing is for his like mic holding hands. I wish all of our Undertakers came with this because you guys know that Undertaker has that like Southpaw boxing style of wrestling or you know his brawling style and he also throws up the fist in this match alone so the fist is iconic with Undertaker I don't know why they wouldn't give us fisted hands but he has the fingerless glove mold you can easily switch this out for Undertaker regular hands but uh, that is something to note that you know they are fully painted black there but outside of that you also get a bandana accessory which is pretty nice I like the sculpt going on with this if you guys wanted to put this on the figure what I have found is if you loop the ponytail over it and then put it on so the uh, the ponytail or the braid goes over the headband. You don't want the headband on top of the ponytail. You want it to be over it like that instead of up under. So there you go. There's the Undertaker with the headband. I think that looks pretty damn good. And if you're wondering, the entrance vest or this like vest accessory right here does not come off. So it doesn't like unplug or anything. This is how it is. It's like on there like Kevin Owens. So there you go. Now diving into Undertaker, guys, starting out at the head sculpt. I actually like this head sculpt a lot. I think the resemblance to Undertaker is uncanny. Candy. If we remove this, you guys can get a better idea of it as well. Just Jesus, man. That braided hair and everything like that. That looks just like the damn Undertaker, man. You can't sit here and tell me it doesn't look like the Undertaker. This is the Undertaker, man. This is beautiful. This is really good stuff right here. I think it's identical to him. Hopefully, I can get more of this figure. I hope I can find this at retail. It's on Amazon, things like that, so I can track down more because I love this figure. I think it's really damn excellent. Now, going down to the torso like we discussed, guys, the, the torso is covered up by this rubber piece, and 
I actually like this. I like this better than sculpting something because it just makes it look a little bit better. I will say that it kind of is broad, but it looks like they did the Elite 79 taker up under here and then just added that over it, give it a little bit of a difference. But I like all the belts and chains and Undertaker logo you got on the back there. Really good job on the studs. I don't know what it is about this figure specifically, but I feel like the tattoos look better. I don't know. I could be tripping, but that's what it kind of seems like to me. Elbow pad looks good. All the pants look great. All these belts and buckles and zims and zangs and all the different like studs look really good. Again, solid black gloves like we covered before. I think this is basically just Undertaker legs re-sculpted, man. Like they just added a bunch of details to some Undertaker legs and I'm here for it. I think it looks great. Again, the studs and belts and everything look really good. It feels really good in the hand. Just an overall great figure to pose around and, and feel, man. He is on ball joints, so that's probably another thing that adds to it. So you love to see that. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. And you want to be careful when adding on that bandana because you don't want to like break off the braid. I feel like a lot of people break their braids and ponytails off. Only thing I can say about that is just be careful with your figures, man. I know you like to play with them and stuff, pose them around. You still got to be careful at the end of the day so you don't waste your 20 bucks and hack off your ponytail. But overall, I am in love with this Undertaker figure. And then for your Undertaker figure comparisons, guys, here is all of all four of like the major Undertaker elites that we have gotten in the last year, year and a half. And Mattel's been crushing it, man. You get one of kind of like, not every era, obviously, but you get a little bit of a glimpse of all of the different kinds. You know, we got like two old man takers, but you get one like sort of like a mix between a current day and an ABA Undertaker. You get your 30 years taker. You get your debut taker. You get your legends taker. I mean, this is beautiful. And they have killed it on all of these. All the details, all these head sculpts are great. All these accessories. I mean, they have knocked it out of the park with these Undertaker elites, man. I am definitely not complaining and they bring together my Undertaker shelf. So all of these up next to each other are great. And what's even better, all four of them have different head sculpts. So that is freaking amazing. Huge shout out to Mattel for all the epic work they've done on our Undertaker figures this year and the last couple years. But I think that pretty much sums up this Elite Series 85 two-in-one Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 85 Undertaker and Aleister Black. Guys, if you guys wanted to see what the Boneyard Match Taker looked like on the, uh, you know, the, the new Wreck and Slam cycle, here's the new Wreck and slam cycle with the undertaker on there i think it looks freaking badass it looks phenomenal so if you guys wanted a shot of that there it is for you but overall I, I love both of these i think they're great if you guys missed out on the elite 73 the nxt elite of alistair black this is a must cop i would say i think this is an absolute must cop i think the undertaker is also really damn good i'd say they're both must grabs to be honest with you just because i think they're great now if you own the other versions of alistair black you may want to pass on it however i still like this alistair black a lot and if if you wanted to grab this one, I would understand. You get the black wrist tape, you get the cool attire, you get the spike kick pad, and then with The Undertaker, it's an iconic moment. You know all those good things about it. If you guys would like to grab these, use promo code MDTOYS when you shop over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. You can grab all the epic figures, Elite 85, all of those different things. These may be on back order. I'm not sure if these are on back order or up for pre-order number two, so you definitely want to go put that in that way because I think Alistair Black figures like shoot up in price, man. I think I think his NXT figure goes for about 45, sometimes even like 60, and then his Elite 73 is about 30, so I guess it's not as bad, I guess because they've been re-releasing them, but you still may want to track it down because it is a little bit better than the Elite 73 possibly, but I like both figures, man. You have my blessing if you want to grab them. I'm not going to harp on these. I don't want to go on and on about it all day, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out, and this shout-out is going to go to Aiden B, who says, why can't Mattel just give us a normal Bray Wyatt sweater and pants? They always have to do those one time tires. And I even replied to this and said actually this is a zero time attire because he never wore, the Elite 85 Bray Wyatt never wore those orange pants before and he said that's even worse and that is correct. You hate to see that man. I don't know why they do that sometimes. They'll like mix and match different times and attires and like logos and stuff and be like here's our figure when they don't like, I don't know, they, they like pair a SummerSlam attire with a Raw attire that they wore three months later or, or something like that and it's like why, I don't understand why they do that but I don't know. I don't make the rules man. I just I just break them. So, but a huge shout out to Aiden for that comment, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. <coughs> Don't cross the line.